Welcome back. I'm Erica Fernandez. I'm joined here this morning by Australian geologist John McKay. Thank you so much for being here, John. Good day, Erica. Good to be here. <laughs> All right. So I know that you are from Australia mm -hmm. and that you're in Alpena just for a short amount of time. You're speaking, first time. Oh, first time. First time. Um, and you're speaking at the um, Divine Design Conference. seminar this mm -hmm. this week. Uh, it has a lot to do with evolution and creation. I know that this topic can be really controversial. How did you get involved? Okay, I run creationresearchusa.org, which can be provocative, and I got involved because as a student I was reading a science book by an atheist on how you and I just used to be ape-like creatures who lost their hair and grew bigger brains. <laughs> but then he threw in a chapter on why there was no God, and I'll be honest, as a science student, that offended me. What's religion doing in my textbook? Right. But he was trying to prove there was no God, and he failed miserably, so for the first time in my life I picked up a Bible to see what it said. So then I determined I'd rearrange all my university studies to try and find out what the evidence really was. Now to cut a long story short, that ended up with me being in the presence of the, the Minister of Education in Queensland. He agreed to allow creation to be taught in the schools and that was my last private day. I discovered how controversial it could be. <laughs> now I'm in Alpena talking about the evidence for creation, design, etc. So people are welcome along. Awesome. So I see also, as I did some research, that you run Jurassic Ark Museum in Australia. Mm -hmm. What is that? Jurassic Ark Museum, no apologies to Steven Spielberg, but it's all about dinosaurs and it's all about fossils. We made a fabulous fossil find and uh, we used to just take schools and colleges and public to help dig it up. And then we thought, we can do more than this, so we set it up as a museum. It's in what are called Jurassic Rocks, okay. which has nothing to do with millions of years. It's got to do with the Jura Mountains in Germany. But in reality, we challenge people how did this get here? Was it Noah's flood? Was it a worldwide catastrophe? Was it local? Did the trees grow here? What about the dinosaurs? So it's turned into a fabulous success. It's an educational museum in Australia and they can find out more on creationresearch.org. Okay, so you research dinosaurs, you dig up dinosaurs, what, why do you do you Okay, dinosaurs? yes, what uh, do you, when I go that? back to Australia we have a 10 day dinosaur dig. We've got a few bones from a site we found. We're going back to see the rest of the dinosaur, <laughs> okay. right, see if we can dig it up. So yes, I, I love dinosaurs. I've always been smashing rocks, my mum said when I was four years of age, just to see what was inside them. So <laughs> I really do, it, it sort of relieves a lot of frustration about politics too, but it helps the kids understand how did the world get here and that's what our conference is about, creation or did it happen by itself? Okay, so do you tend to get into many debates on this subject? Uh, yep, folks can go to YouTube and see me versus the world's leading atheist Richard Dawkins if oh, they wow. like. So, so that's the, uh, it, it is a, 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 a debate rich subject. So, and I guess even in the question time at the conference people can feel free to put their tuppence worth. Oh, sorry, two cents worth. <laughs> so, speaking of being from a different country, what exactly are you doing over here in Alpena, Michigan? Okay, I was invited by uh, a fellow I've never met before, just met him last night, who wanted to put on a few days in the local community college there on this controversial subject. So he invited uh, a man I believe you had the other day, a professor, and he invited myself, um, someone in the geology industry, which is, it tends to, you know, say millions of years of evolution. He wanted to know what the facts were. So I agreed to come and uh, each day we've got work in schools or colleges or whatever. And tonight uh, and each night we have the conference at 6.30. It's free, which is a great price and people can come along, ask their questions, be challenged. Oh, well, that's awesome. An incredible opportunity for the community as well. Mm -hmm. So what can um, the community expect from this seminar? Okay, well, because I'm an Aussie and uh, that tends to be fairly popular over here, I'll be looking at design down under. Okay. Uh, you mentioned uh, the debates and I mentioned Richard Dawkins. He's got a real attack on me and the fact that things like koalas must have evolved by accident. They're so foolishly made they couldn't have been created. So we'll be looking at the evidence for design down under okay. and then moving on to the next step, what about the designer? I mean, you look at a painting and you say, it didn't happen by itself. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the creation saying, it didn't happen by itself, but who did the designing? So okay. that's my job. All right, and the community will have the chance to ask questions. They sure will. That can be the best part of some of these things. Okay, well, great. Well, thank you so much for being here, Mr. McKay. And anybody who is interested in learning more about this can attend the conference tonight and tomorrow night. Or they can go to creationresearchusa.org. All right, perfect. Thank you for being here. Thank you.